A Chinese satellite launched into orbit, then vanished without a trace. For six days, Shuryan 28B was completely undetectable by global tracking systems. When it finally reappeared, it wasn't just back, it was in a highly unusual orbit that no one expected. Experts were stunned. Why did it disappear? Why is its new orbital path so specific? And what is China testing up there? On July 3rd, 2025, China launched an experimental satellite known as Shuryan 28B from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. At first, everything appeared normal. China frequently launches satellites for Earth observation, technology testing, and research purposes. But unlike typical missions, Shuryan 28B vanished immediately after launch. It wasn't visible to any global space tracking systems, not the US, not Europe, not even private space surveillance companies. For six full days, it left no trace in orbit. That kind of silence is not standard. Most satellites become detectable within hours of reaching space. Instead, Shuryan 28B remained completely untraceable, almost as if it didn't exist. The mystery deepened until July 9th, when the U.S. Space Force's Space Domain Awareness Unit finally located it. But the location wasn't where analysts expected it to be. Rather than following the predicted 35-degree inclination, Shuryan 28B was parked in a 794 by 796 kilometers orbit with an inclination of just 11 degrees. That means it was circling near the equator, far south of China's usual satellite paths. Such a shift would require the rocket to perform complex maneuvers, and experts like Jonathan McDowell suggest the launch vehicle as second stage likely executed three burns mid-flight to alter its path. This maneuver was no accident. It was precise, costly, and planned. But why hide the satellite and send it to such an unconventional orbit? The answer might lie in the kind of mission this orbit supports, and why China wanted to keep it off the radar, literally. When Shuryan 28B finally reappeared in space after being untrackable for six days, its position left experts genuinely surprised. The satellite wasn't in a standard orbit at all. It was circling Earth at an altitude of 794 by 796 kilometers, which is fairly typical for low Earth orbit, but its inclination was just 11 degrees far lower than expected. Well, most Chinese satellites are launched into 35-degree or higher inclinations to cover broader swaths of the Earth, especially over China and nearby regions. An 11-degree inclination means the satellite moves almost directly over the equator, passing repeatedly over narrow bands of territory like the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. These are highly strategic zones with busy maritime traffic and complex geopolitical interests. To reach that kind of orbit from the inland Xichang launch site is a technical feat experts estimate the satellite's rocket-performed three-deliberate engine burns mid-ascent to sharply adjust its path. These burns would require additional fuel, careful programming, and a clear purpose. This wasn't an improvised change, it was built into the mission from the start. So why go to such effort for a narrow, low-inclination orbit? Analysts suggest it could be to monitor regional activity, test secure communication technologies, or study atmospheric and environmental variables specific to tropical zones. This path also reduces the chance of interference from satellites in more crowded orbital inclinations, giving it a cleaner observational corridor. The result? A highly specialized orbit that suggests a very focused objective, Shuryan 28B ISN T just one mysterious satellite. It is part of a larger trend in China S space activity. More precision, more experimentation, and less public explanation. Officially, the Shuryan series is used for testing new technologies and exploring space environments. But the way Shuryan 28B behaved, disappearing for days, then appearing in a highly precise and unusual orbit suggests it might be doing something far more advanced. This isn't the first time China has pushed the boundaries of what's possible in orbit. Earlier in 2025, it conducted a successful orbital refueling test using two of its Shurjin series satellites. This involved docking two spacecraft in orbit and transferring fuel from one to the other, potentially extending operational lifespans dramatically. Such capabilities point to a future of sustainable, mobile space platforms. With Shuryan 28B, 
The use of low inclination orbits and mid-flight trajectory changes may be testing how to deploy satellites covertly, how to evade tracking, or how to target specific equatorial regions with specialized sensors. The lack of immediate tracking data suggests a deliberate design to delay detection, perhaps for signal testing, AI-driven data collection, or even studying orbital congestion patterns without interference. Combined with China's plans for a Mars sample return mission, frequent lunar operations, and rapid satellite deployments, Shuryan 28B fits into a broader strategy, one that's shifting from visibility and coverage to precision and specialization. While other countries are focused on numbers, China seems focused on surprise and sophistication, and that may reshape how we think about the next decade in space. Shuryan 28B may seem like just another satellite, but its vanishing act and strange orbit tell a much deeper story. It reflects a growing shift toward more advanced, strategic, and less visible space operations. As global experts watch closely, questions remain about what it's doing and what's next. If you found this exploration eye-opening, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries unfolding above us. Thanks for watching, and stay curious. We've only just scratched the surface of what's happening in orbit. See you in the next video.